Well, with today being the last day of 2019, we wanted to take a look back at the top five most read stories on our website. At number five, the Farmington gas explosion. Captain Michael Bell, a 30 year member of Farmington Fire Rescue, was killed on September 16th in an explosion at LEAP, a disability support nonprofit. Firefighters had been called to the building for a propane smell. The explosion happened just minutes later. Six other firefighters were injured. Larry Lord, a maintenance worker at the building, is credited with saving more than a dozen lives. He is still in the hospital and in serious condition. At number four, Maine State Police Detective Ben Campbell killed in the line of duty. He was hit by a tire that came loose off a tanker truck carrying logging equipment. Campbell had been standing on Interstate 95 in Hampton helping a stranded driver when he was struck. Flanked by, with support by state police troopers, the widow of Officer Campbell decided at the last minute that she would speak at his memorial service and say her final farewell to her husband. Number three, seven motorcyclists killed in New Hampshire when a pickup truck crossed the center line and struck them. Crash involved members of Marine Jarheads MC, a motorcycle club that includes Marines and their spouses. A tragedy sent shockwaves through New England's communities of motorcyclists and military veterans. This happened on June 21st, and Vladimir Zhukowski was the truck driver. In October, he was indicted on 23 counts that include reckless manslaughter and negligent homicide and driving under the influence. At number two on the list, Berwick Fire Captain Joel Barnes was fatally injured while fighting a fire at a three-story apartment building in Berwick. Fire officials say that Barnes died protecting the life of another firefighter. His funeral was held two days after his death. Oxford Fire Chief Gary Sacco died while in Portland to attend the funeral. Sacco served in the Oxford Fire Department starting in 2017 after he retired from New Gloucester where he was fire chief for 12 years. The loss of two firefighters in a span of just three days was a lot for the state of Maine. And at number one, 15 apps parents should look out for on their kids' phones. In late July, Sarasota County Sheriff's Office made 25 arrests during an operation to protect kids from online predators and human trafficking. Those arrests in Florida spurred the department to release a list for parents of potentially dangerous apps their kids could have access to. And we have that full list of apps and more details on our top five on our app and on our website.